Let's start at the beginning of the curriculum in time period one. Remember, the AP US history exam is divided into nine time periods, and period one runs from 1491 to 1607. Now, before you spend too much time here, you have to remember this is only 5% of the official curriculum, both the curriculum that teachers should cover in school and 5% of the test. So it's tied with period nine, which goes from 1980 to the present for last place in terms of importance. So if you want to, you can skip ahead and start moving to when really it starts to count in period three. Remember, it's periods three through eight that show up on the DBQ part of the test. I think part of the reason they're downplaying this time period is that it's the time period before any permanent English settlement is set up. That's what 1607 is, by the way. It's the date of the Jamestown settlement in Virginia, the first permanent English settlement. Still, there are a lot of important events that happened in this period from 1491 to 1607 that lay the foundation for so many issues of American history later on. Let's start with Key Concept 1.1 from the official AP course description. Here's what it says. As native populations migrated and settled across the vast expanse of North America over time, they developed distinct and increasingly complex societies by adapting to and transforming their diverse environments. If this is the first key concept you've seen from the official course description, then maybe you're not used to just how clunky and awkward these sentences are. The basic idea is that in the time before Christopher Columbus and, and in the, into the early 1500s, the pre-Columbian peoples of America were thriving. They had set up complex societies, they migrated and settled across all this vast expanse of North America. And as you look at the map, you can see really how vast and expansive America was at this time. So this key concept is all about this important time in American history before the arrival of the European settlers. We call this time the pre-Columbian because it's before Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Now, during this time, we know that Native Americans were thriving. They had spread all throughout the continent. They even say that they migrated and settled across the vast expanse of North America over time. And the story of this settlement is really hard to pin down right? Because a lot of these people weren't building permanent settlements. They weren't leaving written sources. So historians have to figure it out from the few archaeological remains we have. Now, what we know is that Native Americans settled into nearly the entire continent of North America, from the boring, cold parts of Canada to the fun and sun of Mexico. And as they settled into these different environments, they adapted to the unique climate and topography of that land. And one of the important things you need to keep in mind in world history, even, is the difference between nomadic lifestyles and sedentary lifestyles. In a nomadic lifestyle, you don't live in a permanent house. Maybe you have a teepee or some other temporary structure, and you literally pack your house up with you and take it on the road. And maybe you follow like a pre-programmed route. Maybe you follow herds of buffalo. In fact, that's what Native Americans did in the Great Plains. So modern day Kansas, Nebraska, and the Dakotas, Native Americans followed these herds of bison around and never really settled into one spot. In a sedentary society, people begin to settle into permanent homes. And when they do this, it changes everything. Maybe they're planting crops in rows. Maybe they're penning in their animals. They start building cities and societies. They start passing laws. They start regulating people's behavior in homes. And this is what happened in Mexico and the modern American Southwest, places like Texas and Arizona. They began to cultivate maize or corn. And as they did this, they developed complex systems of irrigation, new societal norms, more complex economies. As you study Native Americans, keep this difference in mind. There were nomadic societies in places like the Great Plains, and there were sedentary societies in places like the American Southwest. Now, in modern America, we can find many other examples of this. In the Northeast, so the area where I'm from, New Jersey, Native Americans kind of merged these two lifestyles. They had a hunter-gatherer lifestyle, but they also had permanent settlements. And you can think really creatively about this. There's the Inuit of Alaska, the Native peoples of Hawaii. All of their histories are part of our history. We call these people groups the indigenous peoples of America because they were there before the white settlers came. What's so amazing about these societies is that they develop their own complex histories, their own languages, traditions, religions, and cultures. And again, it's really hard to find them in the historical record, but they're fascinating to study. So Key Concept 1.1 is all about the complexity and diversity of the Native American population in our area of North America during the 1400s and 1500s. Once these Native American populations came into contact with Europeans, everything changes. And that's what Key Concept 1.2 is all about.